is found in cold North Atlantic coastal waters off Canada, the northeastern United States, and northwest Europe. While it is unknown when the Great Auk officially evolved into existence, remains from 75,000 years ago were found in Gibraltar, and they are depicted in numerous Stone Age paintings. The Great Auk was about 75 to 85 centimeters tall and weighed about 11 pounds. Its one downfall were its wings, which were only about six inches long. The Great Auk's main food source was fish, such as the Atlantic Manhattan and the Capelin. It also ate crustaceans from time to time when it could not find fish. The Great Auk had a hydrodynamic body shape, as well as waterproof feathers to help them glide through the water and keep out the cold. Webbed feet also assisted with swimming, and a layer of body fat helped keep them warm in cold temperatures. While the natural predators of the Great Auk were not known, a main contributor to their extinction was humans. Humans hunted them as an easy food source and used their down for down coats. They also had very specific breeding grounds which led to low reproduction rates. The Great Auk is of the family Alcidae and the genus Penguinus. It evolved from its prehistoric form, Penguinus alfrenduni, and other Pilokian flightless birds. The Great Auk's living relatives include most modern penguins. I'm Judy and I work with the Natural Science Collections here at Manchester Museum. The dodo was first discovered by European settlers in Mauritius in 1598, but by 1680 the flightless bird was extinct. This means we have no real stuffed specimens and no way of knowing what it actually looked like except from historical descriptions and paintings. The most common image of the dodo is that of a rather fat bird. And from this, reconstructions like this mount have been made using chicken feathers. The fragmentary remains of dodo skeletons, like these bones at Manchester Museum, have been used by scientists to estimate the size of the skeleton and how much weight the bird could carry. Measurements suggest that the skeleton would not have supported such a fat bird. As a flightless bird, it didn't need large muscles in its chest to fly, so it would have been far less pronounced than shown here. Until recently, dodo bones had only been found in the marshy coastal areas of Mauritius, but excavations have yielded new finds in the Highland Caves which show that they're more widely distributed than first thoughts. <laughs> 